like this. I'm quite thoroughly addicted to this uh, mod slash map or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I made a little bit of a reed farm. I don't know why I did. Just felt like it. Uh, that was one of the more useless things I've done since the last episode. Ooh, let's not look at that just yet. You might have caught a little bit of a glimpse. But that's not what we're going to look at first over here. Um, haven't messed with this steel yet. Um, I need to research that, but I'm not too interested in that. I kind of want to do some other stuff. Oh, no. Don't look, don't look at that. You might see it on the map, but... Uh, I've sort of dismantled this uh, whole area, and this is another thing we'll talk about in a second, and just sort of moved all these production facilities over here, because this is where my power is being generated. I've got this making gravel. This can either make, um, turn gravel into sand or sand into um, dust, and I also got a redstone furnace going here because I like building out of cooked stone, and because coal is kind of hard to get, Sort of. Uh, I've just set up this system. Ooh, don't think that does anything. Uh, but over here, this is a fairly important build. Ooh, wow, that was certainly interesting. This is a sifter, a sieve, rather, and that's how we get our, all of our materials. And uh, it's also a void pipe. Uh, these are autonomous activators, and what these do is they'll either left or right click, depending on your setting. And so these things just basically pretend like they're a player, and they'll just sit here and right-click for you. And so I can set them to put items in through this. Hold on. If there's items in there, then saying a right-click will say, oh, place that. And that's how you can get automatically going through here, and when it um, fully processes these things, it'll just pop out randomly, and the vacuum hopper will suck it up. I had a little bit of trouble... Um, and understanding how these work, but I kind of figured it out. I basically, I thought that these item ducts and the pneumatic tubes would be able to, like, okay, say this is one half of the chest, and it can put items, oh yeah, yeah, so I've got crap tons of stuff, and this is the, the junk chest. Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you the hall in a second. Um, but once this fills up, it no longer sees this second chest right here um, as attached to this. And so when you fill up this, this, and this one, I won't do it just yet, um, it says, oh, there is nowhere left for me to place things. And so even though there's three chests of space, it doesn't actually see them. And that's sort of a, I guess, mistake or an error. And so I had to rethink how I do things. Um, but over here, it's where there's the... Also, it kind of works in reverse. If you've got gravel in these sort of slots right here, it won't actually grab them, which is kind of stupid. But, meh. Oh, well. But anyway, for the loot, there's this stuff, which is my active loot. And then this is the big kahuna. Look at that. Almost. This is like... This is double. You remember, you get double because of cooking. So this is 10 stacks of iron, 5 stacks of gold, 5 stacks of silver, 6 stacks of all this. So I need to uh, use a hammer on all this junk and put my armor back on. So yeah. Um, the thing is, with this, it takes time. And so I sort of AFK here, and I was smart. I, I set up these things so I could AFK without even having to worry about mobs coming, even if one miraculously spawned. But um, earlier today, I kind of set this going and uh, watched some StarCraft 2, because that's good. I like to watch the good old, yay, diamonds. Got lots of diamonds now. Uh, good old StarCraft 2. Only thing is, I fell asleep, and this was running, and so the way hunger works in this, even if you're standing still, you still lose hunger. Which I think it's really stupid and should change. <sighs> and so I died of starvation and lost most of my stuff. So, that's a pretty big bummer. But, um, I've used some heart containers, because I'm now up to three hearts again. I think if you can see. Yeah, three lives left, yep. 
But the other big thing I have done with you guys not here is not the reed farm, but rather... Oop, that's not it. Just trying to hide the minimap, not show it. This thingy! Woohoo! I finally went around and made a mob spawner. I mean, why not? You gotta. I mean, it's free resources. It was, um... I don't know, I just felt like making it, and that's, I should really take these down, because they creep me out every single time I see them. <laughs> um, but I haven't done too much with these, um, I haven't farmed, because most of the materials are kind of useless. I mean, you just sit here and do this for resources that I'll never use, but, oh well. It was fun building, and it's one of those things where you gotta have one of every type of farm. Um, so I kind of used a lot of materials for it, but why not? And that's partially why I made that um, smooth stone generator kind of thing. I guess, thinking back, I could have just set the igneous extruders to... I don't know. It's free power. Everything is free. I wonder if the igneous extruders is that actually uses lava. Anyway, these are actually glowstone lamps. I don't know if they let light through, so just to be safe, I did that. So... This is completely toggleable. You can come up here and toggle all the lights, and nothing will spawn. So it's nice if you, these get noisy or loud, or I want to be in the area, and these things are just spawning tons of stuff. I like including on-off switches, even though it's kind of useless, because I can just walk away. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Trophy! That is awesome. Eat your heart out, B double O. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Got a trophy. <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy at this point. I mean, I thought people were exaggerating. Yeah, I just sort of killed a few mobs. And yeah, I just sort of killed a few mobs. And this is my first trophy, so that's, that's nifty. Uh, the only thing is that I purposely made this not work for spi spiders, spoiders, um, and it doesn't work with Endermen, obviously, um, and so those were the kind of biggest things I wanted, Endermen, um, but it was kind of dangerous, and having connected areas that I can be attacked from is not exactly the best thing to do, but the other thing that I have prepared over here is this test. Tasked. I can't speak today. This task over here, where... Okay, hold on. I haven't looked this up, because I didn't look at the rewards, but Ender Lily. Hmm. Are an ancient breed of plants whose seed can now be only found in old dungeons. This plant grows incredibly slowly over the course of a week, and once fully grown, will produce the Ender Pearl. But where are the thorns that start to grow on this plant as it gets older? That's interesting. So, uh, to make that, we needed to build all these sort of farming materials, and I haven't done it, but I have all the materials right here. So we can just build them. I have the sickle here, because it's necessary. Okay, so first one, harvester, and go to here, and you shift, click the question mark. Oh, no, no, or you don't, apparently not. Okay, well, looks like I'm doing everything manually. That's wonderful. Uh, this one, was the shears? Oh, poo. Shears, 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 that, 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 copper? Nope. Gold. Last one's the charm. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Okay, there we go. Harvester. Uh, second one is planter. So, see if this one will work. There we go. And then the third one is Sludge Boiler. Sludge. Boop. 
And there we go. Ta-da. Flux infused. Sludge. A task. Okay, so. Cultivating the harvest. Bone meal a large grass area and use a sickle to harvest the tall grass to obtain seeds and fruit saplings. Food is an important consideration for your survival on this map. Mine factory loaded planters and harvesters can be used to create farms for the harvest craft seeds and the fruit pickers can be used to f harvest fully grown fruit from the saplings. Sludge from the harvester can be piped into a sludge boiler to produce any dirt or sand type block in the game at random. This is an excellent source of extra dirt for building farms. A task where the player hand in item or fluid. A sludge bucket. Sludge bucket. Sludge bucket. How do I get sludge? Hmm. Sludge. Okay, so uses all the energy. Just uses energy. Hmm. Okay, this doesn't break. Okay, good. So let's hook it up to some power and see what it does. Let's um let's get rid of this guy. We don't quite need smooth stone at this moment. <laughs> Not exactly the most useful thing. Okay, let's get rid of these attachy thingy my bobbers. I haven't quite looked up. I, I don't look things up. I try to figure them up on my own. Um, the things I do know already how to do are sort of from... So does it just create sludge? Then? I kind of don't know. It's building energy for something. See, I don't know why it doesn't get enough power. This this is only using 20, 40 and 40 RF at a second. And then this is only getting so many. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to fiddle with these things. Oh, yes. While I'm here, let's um, open these guys up. I've got two goods and a greater. So let's see what I got. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty decent. Let's just dump all this stuff to be never used. Glowstone bricks. That's certainly interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I've sort of made a separate industrial farming pad because I quite like this sort of pad design of my base and I'm going to continue that because I like it. It also makes things challenging to fit on a pad because I don't want to make gigantic circles because then it's not a circle anymore. It's just like an elongated... Anyway, um, so yeah, how a harvester works, I did actually look it up. I know earlier in this episode I said I don't like looking things up, but when you need to know exactly like how big you can make things, this... Um, just works in a 3x3 three three grid. It'll say, look around here, and it will harvest things. Oh, I forgot to put in... Hmm... Da, 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 da. Can we do something like this? Down here. And then we'll send... Some seeds down to there. We do that. I think we can. See, this is going to be one use for uh, my mob spawner I just made. Because I'm going to go grab some bone meal. So I can bone meal all this up. Um, just to see it working in action. I'm trying to get the sludge. Because this should both pipe the sludge that way. And items through that thingy. So I'll be right back. Okay, so, uh, grab some bones, so let's bone meal this up to see it working in action. Come on. Boop! Boop! And that's the cedar thingy. Boop! 
Boop. 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 That could be a problem. It doesn't actually grab the items. Hmm. That's... Interesting. Certainly. So I might have to install like a vacuum hopper. Seeds, 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 wonderful seeds. I'm surprised I had that many seeds down there. How many seeds do I have? Eight left. Okay, let's toss those seeds in there. Let's... Okay, so... It... How did those get into there, but not all those? I don't quite understand that. Hmm. Well, how much sludge did we get? Did we get enough to fill a bucket? Not quite. Dope. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm gonna let this run, maybe force some growth to get enough sludge for a bucket. And I'll be right back. Ah, I figured it out. Figured it out why it was doing that. See, what I was doing is, remember that feature that you can do? When a plant is fully grown and you right-click it, it automatically redoes. And that's why it was doing that. So watch. See, now it's gonna harvest that and it puts it into there. See if you watch. Boom, like that. I am such an idiot. Because like, if I click that now, it's that automatic right-click planning feature, which is nice, but it's it's it was totally messing me up. I was like, why are they not? That would be kind of stupid. But, yep, I'm stupid. And that was also probably why I wasn't getting that much sludge, just because I was breaking them myself, basically. Oop, dang it. Sludge. Dang it. Sludge? Sludge? Sludge! Sludge! <laughs> okay, so, perfect. Manual submit. And a lily. Awesome. So I have to find somewhere to plant that. And what does that unlock for us? expanding the default farm size of three by three may feel a bit small it yeah, kind of does um upgrading the size of the farm will be needed for optimal production of resources on the map if you want to see the area converted by mfr holding a hammer in your hand the hammer can also be used to rotate mfr machines and pick up the machines while retaining energy inside the machines okay make sure you Upgrade your harvester and planners in the same way. Cool. Okay, so I have to make those. Okay, so I've made a few things. I've made an upgrade, one for the uh, achievement and the other for actual use. I made the best ones I could get. Uh, these quartz ones, which increase the radius by eight. So I'm curious as to what that will do to this guy right here. We say that, and then that guy just increases the length to that. Oh dear, holy crap, maybe I didn't need these quartz ones. <laughs> that's a pretty big floor. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a big farm. Yep. Definitely, very big farm. Um, kind of beastly big at this point, because farming isn't too needed. But you can sort of intersect them like that. Man, I could made, make some pretty huge farms here. And maybe I will, if I feel like it. Switch that out with that. And it's lots of orange box and boxes, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's go with that one. Dun, 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 dun. What do we get? What do we get? Greater. 
corn seeds. Let's just toss them in here. There you go. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure these will work with trees. Which is interesting. And I might want to set up a huge tree farm like that. But maybe, maybe. I'm just thinking about future projects. Because tree farms would be nice to um, get infinite wood i might i might set that up for next episode um but for now i think that is going to be it we've shown you some pretty fun stuff um updated you on the death count i died one more time sadly uh but i'm gonna be working on making a farm maybe and i will see you next time wait, 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 wait. let's check what's next moving power Transferring power between power providers and machines can be done in multiple ways. Energy cells can be used as portable power storage to move between machines that do not need a constant source of power. Conduits come in three tiers. They can move different amounts. The top tier can move 10 RF, 10K RF per tick per connection point. MFR rednet cables can move RF. EU will convert to MJ when connected to a machine that requires MJ. It will also transmit... Redstone signals, make sure you use a wrench or hammer to set the connection type of blah, 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 blah. Redstone knows. I haven't made those. Rednet. 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 Oh, that's fairly simple. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.